everyone, it's Becca at Becca's Books, and welcome to another video. It is Friday, so it's time for my Weekend Reads video, and I'm really excited to show you the books that I plan on reading for the weekend. The first two I'm going to show you are the books that I've actually already started, and the first one is Aragon by Christopher Paolini. I took the dust jacket off because it was really hard to read with it on, but it's still an amazing book anyway, so it doesn't matter. And, um... I love it. I love it so much. You know, I'm reading it kind of slowly because I started it early in the week, but I'm reading like maybe 50 to 100 pages a day. Um, but I'm really happy with that, so I'm okay. I'm 234 pages in, so just about halfway. And of course, it's got dragons and dwarves and elves and dragon riders and and, a, and there's a journey. And so if you like Lord of the Rings pick this one up because it's got dragons in it. And who doesn't love dragons? I love dragons. I know there are people that don't like dragons. I understand that, but I love dragons. So, yeah, this one's really good. And the other book that I am reading, or that I started reading, is A Monster Calls with Patrick Ness. Um, funny story about this one is, actually, I don't think I'd ever pick this one up if not for the situation or the circumstance that happened. My little brother, Michael, is going into sixth grade very soon, like in a week, and he <laughs> needs to read, I think, two books before he goes to school, and yeah, that's like, he, it's the whole summer, he had the whole summer to read, he put two books from the list, and he picked Cinder, and he picked A Monster Calls, but of course, he doesn't read, you know, he's just, he'd rather be on the computer, or on the TV, and I'm like, Michael, come on, it's for school, you have to read. And so he was reading Cinder, and he kept putting that down. So I'm like, Michael, you should, we'll get a Monster Calls, and you can read that one. Because at least then you'll read it. And we're reading it, and he's loving it. We just started it, like, a few days ago, and we're just about finished. We're reading it together. So it's not like he's reading it alone, but he, every 50 pages, I, you know, I ask him what happened. And he's understanding it. He is begging me to, you know, stop what I'm doing so we can read this book. That is something he's never done. And I am really, really happy about that. So, yeah, I'm loving this book. I mean, even if this book was shit, and I, I'm sorry, excuse my language, even if this book was, was horrible and I wouldn't like it, I would love this book just for that reason alone. Any, any book that will make him happy, make him excited to read, is a great book in my opinion. So, yeah, we're definitely loving this book so far. We probably only have, like, 50 pages left, and we're definitely going to finish this tonight. So, I'm really happy about that. Alright, so, next couple books I have to show you are ones that I'll definitely read this weekend. And they're both manga. The first one is Adamant, Volume 3, by Aya Kano. I read one in, volumes 1 and 2 last week. I loved, I love, love, love the series. And there's 18 volumes in this one. And I, I have to own them all. So, I definitely want to get to this one soon. I love this series. Um, it's a shoujo beat with a boy who likes girlish things. And he has to suppress that for his mother. And that really sucks. So, if, if that sounds interesting, definitely pick this one up. It's really good. And then, I also got... Or, I also want to read Blackbird Volume 3. This is by Kanoko Sakurakoji. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And this one I'm reading along with this one. So when I finish volume 3, I will pick up this volume 3. Because they both have 18 volumes, and I don't want to read just, you know, go through one sitting and read all 18 volumes of this one, because then that's all of my money. So I am trying to, like, take, a, like, a break. Maybe read them over the weekend, because it's much easier to read them over the weekend. So maybe I will do that, and maybe that will help me save up some money. I don't even know. Maybe not. I Maybe I'm just kidding myself, and I'm just going to go to the bookstore and buy all of them. Maybe. But yeah, these are both fantastic. This one has to do with demons and marriage proposal. I mean, it, it's so good. It's so good. Definitely pick them up. And then the next two books that I want to read, well, want to really badly want to, but not sure if I'm going to get to it this weekend. But if I don't, I will definitely... Well, once I finish all four of these, I will definitely need to pick this one up. Uh, this is Wrath in the Dawn by Renee Adier. don't even know if I'm saying her last name right. I'm very sorry if I'm not. This one is a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights. 
I love A Thousand and One Nights. I, when I was younger, I read The Storyteller's Daughter by Cameron Doki. I think that's the right author with the right book. I think. I'm not even sure. Because, but I looked it up to find out. It was a different, it was a different cover. And, but the, the story sounded the same. And again, I was young. I was really young. And I can't even find my edition of the last one. And I really love that book. But yeah, I adored that one. And that's another retelling of Thousand One Nights. So if you, if you picked this one up and you really loved it, I definitely recommend that. So really, I really recommend A Storyteller's Daughter. I believe it's by Cameron Doki. I think that's right. It sounded right. So yeah, if you like this one, definitely pick up the other one. And I really want to get to this one. I am dying in my seat. I just, like, every time I'm looking at it, I'm, like, reaching for it. But then I'm like, no, I have other books to read. But I'm just still reaching for it. And I'm like, no. But it's a gorgeous cover, and it looks fantastic. And this one is about a prince who marries a woman every day. And then for some reason, he kills on the next. And you just don't know why. And the main character of this book, her best friend, was one of those wives. So she's like, I'm going to volunteer to be his wife, and then I'm going to kill him. Because he deserves it. But things just don't go as planned like that. So, who knows? And it's just, oh my god, it's like every time I'm watching one of an another booktube video, and they have read this book, and they are just dying over it. I'm like, oh my god, i got to pick this one up. So, yeah. I definitely want to pick this one up soon. And the next one, which is like almost the same, but this one I've heard some mixed reviews on, and I just don't know why, and that is The Court of Thrones and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. You know, I've watched a couple of videos as well, and some people didn't like it, and I'm really hoping I'm one of the ones that really, really love it, because I know I love Throne of Glass. So, hopefully I will really, really love this one too. And this one is a retelling between the beast with fairies. So, I gotta love it, right? And the cover is just gorgeous. I mean, look at this cover. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. So, yeah, both of those I want to pick up the minute I finish the other four. So that is of all the books I plan on reading for the weekend and also into next week. So, yeah, those look amazing, um, especially Wrath and Dawn and Carthorne's Roses. So, I have just one last thing that I want to show you guys and that is my purses. Um, this one I am currently wearing is my Kiki's Delivery Purse. I love Kiki. And I love Gigi. And I thought this was just so cute. I got this at Hot Topic. It's adorable. And it's not that small. It's pretty big. I mean, I can fit a Kindle and a book. Not a hardcover book, but I can fit like a paperback and um, a Kindle and my phone and my wallet and everything in there, so it's pretty big. This one, though, is pretty small, and I just got this one. And that is my Sailor Moon purse. I love Sailor Moon, like, so much. It's my favorite anime. And I know it's, you know, I know it's corny, and I know it can be kind of repetitive and stuff, but I love it. And this looks gorgeous. This looks so gorgeous. But it is super small. I mean, compare this with this. And I don't, I could probably only fit my Kindle, and maybe I could fit a paperback book, maybe a manga, I'm not sure. But I love it anyway, and I want to, I want to wear it, like, now. So, I probably will. But yeah, I wanted to show you those, because they're so, so beautiful. Yeah, sorry. I just love them so much. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time with my book haul.